Greetings fellow internet rock hounds. In today's video we're not picking up any rocks, but I'm going to show you some parks that are not too far from Haunted Ridge and definitely worth checking out if you ever come to Missouri. These are the St. Francis Mountains. These mountains formed 1.7 billion years ago and are actually exhumed mountains that have been exposed by erosion. These are formed of rhyolite and granite and go underneath the entire state of Missouri and beyond. But this is one of the few spots where you can see them exposed. We're going to three parks today. Elephant Rocks, Tom Sock Mountain, and Hughes Mountain. Come along with us and see some of the amazing igneous geology of Missouri. All right, here's something different. This is definitely a rock I'm not gonna pick up and take home with me. This whole hill here is one giant magma dome. We're at Elephant Rock State Park. This is a magma dome that formed approximately one and a half billion years ago and then was uplifted and eroded around 250 million years ago. Um, it's just really cool. You can see there's just this big granite rock that comes up out of the ground granite that forms elephant rocks is actually about 1.5 billion years old, a little younger than some of the other stuff that we're going to check out today, which is more like 1.7 billion years old. As you can see, it's a cool park. It's got handicapped access. There's a wheelchair and braille accessible trail that goes all around the park. It looks like this part here they replaced with stairs, but other than this, um, it's all wheelchair access and lots of cool stuff that you can see here, even if you don't get around so good. You can walk up right on top of the formation. I think that this formation might be associated with some of the Druzy Quartz. I think that this magma dome perhaps provided the heat for some of the quartz formations to form just to the north at Haunted Ridge. Lots of interesting geology in this area, lots of mining history, and as you can see it goes way back, billions of years. Lots of people have carved their names and stuff on these rocks. And you can see for miles from the top. Fun fact, when you pull up in the parking lot your cell phone probably won't have service, but if you climb up here you'll have full bars. This is actually a way bigger park and there's a lot more to see here than what I'm going to show you in this video. So have fun when you come out and check it out. You could spend a full day here. It's a great park. Behind me you can see an old quarry pit. They used to quarry the uh, red granite here. And this area is no longer being actively mined, although some of this granite is still being quarried in the state. I believe some of this granite is in the state capital. When you come here, don't forget to get one of the stereotypical pictures pretending to lift up one of the elephant rocks. And to the next spot, Tom Sock Mountain. Something to uh, make note of, a lot of what we're checking out here is known as glade habitats. These are really sensitive habitats, um, kind of mimicking deserts. A lot of species that uh, live in the southwest have made Missouri their home, thanks to our very unique glade geology. Everywhere we go, we find random socks. These are presented on a nice uh, soft drink tray. What gives with all these socks? And now, on the trail right next to the highest point in Missouri. That's not the coolest thing to see on this trail. We're going to check out the waterfall. Alright, so check this out. This is right on the trail here. Is this a Missouri Thunder Egg? I mean, I know it's pretty weak and like, you, it's not a nodule, but it's like a Vug inside of a, 
the rhyolite. There's quartz crystals there. That is super cool. Missouri Thunder Eggs. I find rocks. All right, yeah, this is officially weird. We're on the trail. We just spotted our second pair of random socks. What gives? It's one of my favorite sections of the trail here. Shortleaf pines love it. And I love the shortleaf pines. So, the local uh, geology, the igneous rock, ugh, watch out for the water on the trail, affects the soil content, makes it more acidic, and the pine trees love to grow here. Yeah. There's beautiful views here. So all the rock that we're standing on now is rhyolite that would have formed in pyroclastic flows. Think an eruption similar to Mount St. Helens, but much, much bigger. That's what happened here billions of years ago. And this is what we came here for. Minnesauk Falls. How cool is that? Christmas ferns. This place is so cool. I didn't see any this time, but one time before when I came here, there were small fish swimming around in these pools up at the top of the waterfall. How they got there is anyone's guess, and I don't know. Maybe they moved on because they don't seem to be there anymore. But still, awesome park. This is definitely worth checking out if you come to Missouri. Highly recommend it. My favorite trail in the state. And next, let's check out the columnar rhyolite, not basalt, of Hughes Mountain. All right, we are out at the final stop today on my Igneous Rocks of Missouri tour. We didn't go to Johnson Shut-Ins. That's another cool place you can check out, but I think it's not as cool as the waterfall we saw earlier. Now we're at Hughes Mountain. This is, I think, basalt. I could be wrong. It might be granite. It might be... Uh, rhyolite, but I think this is basalt. There's an awesome columnar basalt feature here, kind of similar to the Giant's Causeway at Ireland, called the Devil's Honeycomb. And we're going to hike up the trail here and take a look at that. Come along. Here we go. This is cool. Johnson Shut-Ins that I mentioned is another park in this area where the Black River cuts through some of this rhyolite and makes an interesting erosion feature. Whew, a lot of hiking today. We made it to the top of the hill. Um, you can start to see some of the columnar basalt formations up here. They're cool, they're like almost like little crystal knobs. There's one more better one up there that we're gonna look at. And then I think that's gonna do it for today. It's time to head home. We have been hiking up some hills, hiking over some big rocks. Apologies for the wind noise. Hopefully you're still enjoying the video. All right, here is the coolest igneous rock feature that I was waiting to show off. This is all columnar basalt. This is some of the oldest rock in Missouri, and not just Missouri, but in the world. We are standing on pre-Cambrian rock that I believe is 1.5 billion years old. That's awesome. Go up here and check this out. This is so cool. Yeah, so not basalt columns, but rhyolite columns. I'm still not sure how these form, but they are very interesting. These are actually older than I thought, about 1.7 billion years old. So going back to pre-Cambrian times, it is absolutely fascinating that you can go and stand on top of something that was that old. Who knows, trilobites might have been crawling across this at one time when it was buried under the ocean long ago. 
And there you have it, a brief tour of some of the more interesting, igneous geological features in Missouri. Most people think of Missouri, and I don't think igneous rocks come to mind, but we have them here. And just part of the amazing variety of the geology that we have in this state. I feel truly lucky to be a rock hound here. And uh, make sure, if you are a rock hound going out and looking for rocks, make sure and check out some of the big picture geology. See some of the beautiful parks that the rocks that you're collecting help create. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And thank you for watching. Rock on, everybody.